Good happy Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your entertainment news with Riley King, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, American Idol and New Hampshire contestant Evelyn Cormier. Let's take a listen to this video right now. Hello everyone, I'm Riley King, and welcome to my entertainment news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Tonight on American Idol, New Hampshire contestant Evelyn Cormier. Do you remember Evelyn Cormier's audition song? Now performing with her idol, Chris Isaac. Watch American Idol All-Star Duet Sunday and Monday at 8 p.m. on ABC. And also, Chris Isaac posted on Twitter, Evelyn is talented beyond her years. It was great working with her on American Idol. I've been a fan since day one, singing Wicked Game for her audition. Only influenced me a little. See us perform on Monday's episode. P.S. Tell your mom that Blue was a good choice. And take a look at the photos that we have for you. Very awesome. So, tune in on American Idol and catch New Hampshire Contestant Evelyn Cormier performing with Chris Isaac. And that's it for my entertainment news report right here on the Riley King Network. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, and there you go. Very cool. And they'll be performing on Monday's episode. So tune in on Monday to watch. Pet Cemetery. Sandy Kenyon from ABC7 News in New York City calls take on Stephen King. Let's take a look at this video. There is a thriller that will del definitely keep your attention. I cannot wait for this. Oh, I'm not doing I it. I love it. A reboot of the horror movie <laughs> Pet Cemetery is heading to theaters. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon says it's Definitely not for the faint of heart. Sandy, what do you mean? Well, Charlene, I'm sort of with Lauren on this <laughs> one. The brain teaser called <laughs> Us remains in theaters, and I've put aside my dislike, my scary feelings about horror films to enjoy that one. So when I saw how many critics liked Pet Cemetery, well, I was hopeful lightning could actually strike twice in one month. So many trees. It's beautiful, right? Rachel and Lewis and their two kids moved to rural Maine to escape the pressures of life in Boston. Wow, this whole place is ours? Their serenity doesn't last long. Their neighbor is a widower played by John Lithgow. Those woods belong to something else. Turns out a pet cemetery is located on the property, and as weird as this place seems, what's beyond is even stranger. An ancient burial ground where creatures can be brought back to life. The cat was dead. Reincarnated, but not the same. Those brought back from the dead come back different. So the cuddly cat is now a miniature cougar, and daddy's little girl becomes really quite dangerous. Are you happy, mommy? The movie was inspired by a Stephen King story that is now more than 35 years old. But Pet Cemetery is really timeless because it deals with unseen forces made manifest and helpless humans powerless to cope with that which they cannot understand. Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> dead is better. I call this movie better than average, and I don't even like horror films. I'm with Lauren Glassberg on this one. <laughs> 
Pet Cemetery is spooky thanks to terrific performances by various actors, including five cats who come together to play one feline character called Church. Okay, there you go. So go and check out Pet Cemetery and tell us what you think of it. Celine Dion on Why Final Vegas Performance. Let's take a listen to this video from Entertainment Tonight. Caesar's Palace, Celine Dion, my queen. She's winding down her long-time residency, but before Celine says goodbye, she's sitting down with our Nancy O'Dell. Big news today. A lot of news. Time to hit the road. That is Celine taking charge, and she's leaving Las Vegas. Every night in my dreams. Would you please go on? She made a fun short film announcing her Courage World Tour and hitting the road as a way to fulfill her late husband Renee's wishes. I was not even sure if I was going to go and sing again, but he really wanted me to sing again. But I did, and uh, we could let go after. But going on tour means ending her Vegas residency in June. What? Or are you going to be thinking when you take that final bow? I might shed a few tears while I was there. I've lost my husband, I've lost my father, I've lost my brother. Um, it will be bittersweet. She says she might return to Vegas someday, but right now she's focusing on releasing new music later this year and that Titanic themed carpool karaoke with James Corden. Whose idea was that to recreate the iconic Titanic pose? Their ideas. I mean, James, for sure, and his crew. But I wanted to push it a little farther. I was afraid, first of all, that the, all the fountains were going to go. <laughs> what if they make a mistake? Yeah. And they push the wrong buttons? What's going to happen? Okay, and there you go on that video. And also, we can share with you, um, Celine Dion will be coming to the TD Garden in Boston for her tour on December 13th, 2019. Showtime is at 7.30 p.m. So get your tickets now to see her in Boston. So, as you know, um, on April 5th, Friday, April 5th, Kathy Lee Gifford from NBC News, the Today Show with Hoda, the fourth hour, she um, retired from daytime. Let's take a look at this video from NBC News. What a daytime TV landscape, Kathy Lee Gifford struck gold not once, but twice. First with Regis Philbin. We don't want to win anything. We don't, don't you give us any award. Then again in 2008 with Hoda Kotb. Miss Kathy Lee Gifford. We just adored each other instantly. And I said, you know what, Hoda? I have no intention of coming back to TV, but if I did, I would love to work with you. But um, I don't think it's possible for uh, anybody to have success at, at 10 o'clock in the morning. It was hard enough at 9 when Regis and I did it. I didn't want to do something again and do it less well. She ended up signing on for just a year, but then... We were starting to really grab America's attention. What works for us is the unpredictability of it. Oh, oh my God. I'm in love with this feeling We laugh at each other and with each other. Oh, she's got crazy guys. Everything comes out of a real friendship. Oh, yeah. Wine, please. And about that ever-present wine on the set, credit a segment with comedian Chelsea Handler. It's never too early for a cocktail. That became a signature. You know what it did? It set the tone for 
Welcome to our party. We're having a good time and it's not at anybody's expense. It's not mean spirited. Help me write the headline for this story. Kathy Lee is not retiring. <laughs> You're what? Evolving. Well, I never thought of this, but since there's two glasses of wine here, let me simply say congratulations Thank you. and best of luck in your new ventures. Thank you. Kathy Lee, we're going to miss you. And don't miss the farewell celebration tomorrow morning on Today, right here on NBC. Hey, NBC. Okay, and there you go on that video. And all of us here at the Riley King Network will miss seeing her on TV. And we wish her the best of luck. And now let's take a look at your celebrity birthdays for today. And here's a little look at all of your celebrity birthdays for today. And happy birthday to all of those celebrities. We hope they all have a wonderful birthday. And that's going to do it for this edition of Entertainment News with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Entertainment News with Riley King. Have a wonderful night, everyone. See you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Entertainment News with Riley King. Goodbye, everyone.